Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Margie. If you haven't, is my door open? Subscribe to my page. Go ahead and subscribe to my page. I trust you are having a good morning. This is a good old Thursday morning. It's cold where I am. And but it's it's kind of nice right now. And I'm having my uh boat house farms green goodness today because this is all it has a lot of sugar in it but this is all the sugar that i'm going to be having today so i can drink this and um this is also you know good for me i like to drink this when i'm doing a daniel fast when i'm not um you know eating a lot of junk food and chips and candy and stuff and that's this is the week that i'm not eating candy and chips and all that so i'm doing salad and vegetables and drinking water so i decided to have one of these today and normally i wouldn't like if i was having i'm, I'm just talking about this this is not what i want to really uh dwell on today but i'm bringing it out if i was um if i was uh Thank you. They're always doing some construction work down here. If I was um, eating other sugars and stuff, I would not be drinking this because it has 50 grams of sugar in it. But because I'm not going to be eating any other sugar, I, I'm drinking this. And it's, it's very good. It's very good. So with all of that being said... I want to say this. God is good. God is so good. He's so amazing. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Prince of Peace, Jehovah Jireh, first and the last, beginning and the ending. Oh, man, he's just good. He's our protector, our provider, the one who fight for us. He is God. He is God who loves us. He loves us. He sent Jesus to die on that cross for you and me he was wounded jesus was wounded for you and me he was bruised for you and me he was beaten for you and me the crown of thorns that went in his head those thorns went in his head for us man hallelujah glory to god we don't have to lose our mind we don't have to uh, you know, have Alzheimer's or dementia because Jesus, hallelujah, got a crown of thorns in his head for our mind. Glory to God. He was pierced in the side, beaten the flesh to the flesh fell off his bones so that you can be healed, so that you can be free of sickness and pain. You can be free of that. Hallelujah, glory to God. One thing I will say, you know, God, he heals you. He heals you. Yes, he do. He's a healer. But after he heal you, you got to do something too. You cannot continue the same way. If, if you know something is causing you to have pain or, or causing inflammation in your body, causing you to have infection, if you know that you are putting in something that is not agreeing with your body because your our bodies are powerful. Our, God made us to heal ourselves. And I believe that. I believe that. When you get cut, don't you, don't you heal up? that scab come on you your body start healing itself when you get that cut when you get bruised the body start healing itself so god made us where we can heal ourselves so you know when god heal you from an illness that goes for anybody you know whether you're a child of god or not a child of god when god heal you you got to do something too. You can't continue the same way and say, oh, you know, God healed me. So I'm going to keep on taking this thing, what I, what they told me not to take. I'm going to keep on eating what they told me not to eat. I'm going to keep on drinking what they told me I can't drink. You know, they told me to change my habits and told me to, you know, exercise more. But I'm going to keep on doing it my way. And then you're going to sacrifice. You're going to be, you know 
what the Bible says. Obedience is better than a sacrifice. That's what I was trying to say. Glory to God. I just, my, my whole video just went <laughs> over there. But I was going to talk about Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, when God was talking to Jacob and he said, Jacob, I'm the one who made you. I knew you from the very start. I made you. I made you. I knew when you were going to be going through that. I knew you when you went through the hard times, when you went through the rough times. I made you, Jacob. So I want to say to you today, God is saying, I made you. I made you and I knew that you were going to be going through what you're going through right now at this time. I knew it because I know all things. God knows all things. God knows all things. He knew you were going to be going through. He knew you from the start. Hallelujah. So what I want to say to you today is that because God knew you, and you're going through what you're going through, don't give up on God and don't blame God and just, you know what, talk to him and say, God, I know you know me. I know you know me and I know you knew I was going to be going through this, God, so I need you to pull me out. I need you to get me out of this bad situation if it's a bad situation i need you lord god to pull me on through this good situation if it's a good situation i need you with me lord god in the bad times i need you with me in the good times i need you lord when is the last time you said i need you lord i need you lord i need you lord i need you jesus I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you to go before me. Make the crooked places straight. I need you, Lord, to give me wisdom, to give me knowledge, to give me understanding. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. We need God, you know? You know? Nothing worse than to keep praying to someone and not ever telling them how much you need them. You know, I need you. I need you. I appreciate you. I see what you're doing. Oh, God, I, I love you. I love you and I appreciate you. And I, I see what you're doing. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I can't do this by myself. I can't do this with my own ideas. I can't do this by myself. So I want you to be encouraged today. And I want you to know that God loves you so much. Give him your heart. If you haven't given him your heart, give it to him. Give him your heart. Give him your mind. Give him your soul. Give him your spirit. Give God everything. Give him everything. Don't leave nothing out. Don't give him half and then take the other half. Give him everything. The Bible says to cast all your cares on God because he cares for you. So give him everything today. Tell him, Lord, come in my heart. Come into my heart. Save me, God. Save me from my sin. Save me, God, from my, from my wrongdoing. Save me, God, if I've done anything or said anything or thought anything wrong against you, Lord God, or against the word or against anything on this earth, Father. Forgive me. Forgive me. I turn from my wicked ways. Forgive me, God. I want everything new in my life. Hallelujah. I want to feel again. I want to love again. I want to be changed. I want you, Father, in my life. And God will change you. He'll change you. Just cry out to him. It ain't no, you know, ain't nothing too hard for him. It's hard for us, but it's nothing too hard for him. And don't worry about trying to change yourself, you know, first. Just, just, just make him your Lord and Savior. And then he will change you. If you make him your Lord and Savior, put him first in your life, he will change you. He'll get rid of all of those bad habits you got. He'll, you, man, you'll start wanting more in your life. You'll start wanting everything to work good in your life. You, you'll have a new outlook. You'll have a new zeal. The favor of God will be upon you. You know, so just give him your life. Give God your life. Make up in your mind that I'm going to serve God no matter what. And he'll take you right in. And he'll love you. He won't hold nothing against you. He won't. He, he don't hold your past against you. He said, you ask for my forgiveness, I forgive you. And I forget about it. 
and I'm going to make you new and make you successful and make your name great. So have a good day on purpose. I love you guys.